A sweat lodge tragedy is something that will stick with our state forever. And five years later, the victims' families are working to make sure nobody else dies. Tomorrow, they're going to be a part of the Seek Safely Sedona Summit. The goal is to combat misinformation, lies, and unsafe practices when it comes to self-help practitioners like James Arthur Ray. Ray is still in the business of healing, despite the three people who died during a ceremony. And new tonight, Elizabeth Irwin is hearing from people gravely concerned about the help he's offering to thousands of people. Life has taken some really tough swings at me. And by the grace of God, I'm still here. That's James Ray speaking at a self-help event. His website calls the sweat lodge that left three people dead a terrible accident that claimed the lives of three of Ray's great friends. And he stood about 10 feet away from them and listened to them die. George and Jenny Brown's daughter Kirby lost her life in that sweat lodge. This was not something that just happened. This was w deliberate neglect on his part. They have a hard time buying Ray's public display of sadness. What he put in place uh, actually made the death inevitable. Have you ever asked yourself the question, why is it that bad things happen to good people? Three good people died in October of 2009 after a weekend-long retreat led by James Ray. He said he'd never perform another sweat lodge ceremony, but he's back in the self-help industry holding events, including one planned in Scottsdale this August. You know, everyone deserves another chance, and I, I, but if he doesn't understand what he did, if he really doesn't understand what he did, then he's still dangerous. It's that danger that motivated the Browns to start a nonprofit in their daughter's memory, aimed at educating people about the self-help industry. Hoping to prevent, you know, someone else from being harmed. That nonprofit is called SEEK. It stands for Self Help Empowerment Through Education and Knowledge. The Browns are in Sedona for that seminar we mentioned happening tomorrow. And for more information, head to abc15.com.